Honestly, both the Vitamix E320 and the Vitamix E520 are great options if you're seeking a quality Vitamix blender. However, even though they share similarities, there are some key differences that you should know about before investing in a new Vitamix blender. Don't forget to click the links in the description to see the most up-to-date pricing information. Both the Vitamix E320 and E520 have powerful 2.2 horsepower motors and Vitamix's signature laser cut stainless steel blades, enabling them to pulverize even the toughest fruits and vegetables. Container wise, both blenders come with a generous 64 ounce low profile container. This design makes it easier to fit under kitchen cabinets while still allowing you to blend large batches. For hot soups, both the E320 and E520 can handle the task with ease. The friction from the blades can heat your ingredients to steaming hot in about six minutes. However, the E520's built-in hot soup program does make soup creation that bit easier. The E520 also has built-in blending functions for smoothies and frozen desserts whereas the E320 keeps things simple with a pulse function and a 10-speed adjustable dial. The Vitamix E320 and E520 share similar sleek, modern designs that'll look great on your countertop. Both feature a sturdy plastic base with a minimalist control panel. The control panels differ between the two models. The E320 features a simple speed dial, pulse switch, and on-off switch. In contrast, the E520 boasts a more advanced interface with preset programs and a pulse function. Weight and size-wise, they're nearly identical. The E320 weighs 10.5 pounds, while the E520 is slightly lighter at 10.2 pounds. You wouldn't notice much difference when moving them around your kitchen, that's for sure. When it comes to operating the Vitamix E320, and E520, both models offer straightforward controls. The E320 features a simple dial with 10 speed settings and an on-off switch. You'll find it easy to adjust the blending speed as needed. The E520 takes things up a notch with its control panel. Adjacent to the different speed settings, you also have three built-in blending functions, one for smoothies, one for soups, and one for frozen desserts. The E320's simpler interface might appeal if you prefer a no-fuss approach. On the other hand, the E520's additional functions could be handy if you like more control over your blending. Both blenders have large, easy-to-grip containers with measurement markings. This helps you add ingredients accurately without needing separate measuring cups. Both models come with a tamper tool to help push ingredients towards the blades. This is especially useful when making thick mixtures like nut butters or frozen desserts. The Vitamix E520 is a bit more expensive than the Vitamix E320 because it comes with pre-programmed blending functions. Bear in mind that price can and do change. These functions are by no means necessary for getting the most out of your Vitamix, but they can definitely be useful if you wanna go that extra mile with a bit of blending automation. But is it worth the higher price tag? That depends on your needs and budget. If you're a casual user who mainly whips up smoothies and soups, the E320 might be all you need. Its 2.2 horsepower motor is plenty powerful for most kitchen tasks. For more serious home chefs or those who use their blender frequently, the E520's upgrades could be worth the investment. Remember, both models come with Vitamix's renowned quality and durability. You're getting a solid machine either way, so it really comes down to your personal preferences and how much you're willing to spend. Keeping your Vitamix blender clean is a breeze, whether you've got the E320 or E520 model. Both feature a handy self-cleaning function that'll save you time and effort. For quick cleanups, just add warm water and a drop of dish soap to your blender. Run it on high for about 30, 60 seconds, and voila. Your blender is fresh and ready for the next use. And with that said, I really hope my Vitamix E520 versus E320 comparison helped you to pick the right blender for you.